Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make money on Doc Merit. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. Now, in this case, we first need to discuss what is Doc Merit. So Doc Merit is a e-learning platform that allows students and academics to buy and sell educational materials. So this includes class notes, study papers, exams, homeworks, and more. The platform provides a marketplace where you can upload your documents and make them available for purchase by other students. Now in this case, why use Doc Merit? So, in this case, if you want to monetize your knowledge. So, if you spend some time creating comprehensive notes or study guides, you can turn this into income by setting them on Doc Merit. Now, you can also help others. So, your notes and papers can assist other students with their studies, providing value and helping them succeed academically. Now, how do we get started? So, first things first is we need to sign up into the platform, which in this case, you need to go to Doc merit.com and usually at the top right you have the login and sell button let's go ahead and click on the sell button now from here you have the option to log in but since we want to create our account let's go ahead and click on no profile yet sign up for free now in this case you can manually enter your account details that includes your name username email address the password you want to use your account and also agreement to the terms use and privacy statement here but in this case you could also create your account via your facebook account Google account or even your LinkedIn account. In this case, if you want to do this manually, go ahead and enter the details at the, uh, the bottom section here. But I actually want to use my Google account. Let's go and choose Google here. And from here, let's go and choose our Google account. And from here, let's go and click on continue to confirm. Now, once you've created your account, we you need to set up your profile. It's going to ask you what is your country. So in this case, let's go and choose our country here. So you could go ahead and choose your country. So let me just uh, search for mine here. But in this case, once you see it, go ahead and select it in here. Now in this case, go ahead and answer your, or easy provide your state, region, province, your institute here, uh, what do you study, and what more. So in this case, let's go ahead and provide those details and hit on the create profile option. In this case, let's go ahead and click on create profile. And from here, it's going to say, cool, you're good to go. So in this case, you could go ahead and search for documents by all the users, so specific specifically for your course. Now, if you want to start earning, you could go ahead and click on, I want to earn money by selling my documents. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on search first. Now, in here, uh, you will have the capability of basically searching for different documents. Again, depending on how you set your profile here, you'll be able to see different profiles or different documents in here, as you can see right now. So in this case, you can go and search for specific topics and whatnot and search for it. So for example, I'm going to say information technology. Just press on enter. It's going to give me different results for it. Now, if you want to view a specific topic or note here, you could go ahead and click on it. And you should be able to see different details in it, like how much it is already bundled itself if you want to add this to your card. Now, in this case, how do we actually upload our document? So, first things first is we want to actually click on sell at the top right here. From here, you want to choose what specific uh, uh, document or what type of document or course you're going to upload. So, you could choose from whatever here. So, in this case, I've chosen the location here and the university as well as what type or what study it is so in this case you go ahead and edit it if you want you could also add another course here if you want to let's go ahead and click on save here click on save now we want to go ahead and click on the document details and once you've done that you need to click on earn here so in this case uh what we need to do next is so in this case i've just typed in technology here and we want to choose data here as an example so it's going to be science, science, and technology data. Now in this case, you could go and click on choose your file here. And from here, it should give you this detail. Let's go and click on select files to upload. And you want to go ahead and select your document. So as an example, I'm going to upload this document here. Click on open. From here, let's go and click on upload. Now it's going to start uploading that document. And once it's actually completed, we should be able to go to the next page. In this case, it's going to say, give your document a title. So for example, it's going to be the effects of the following. So let's just say this one. And from here, let's go and click on next step at the right side here. 
Now, on the next page, you should be able to see the document details. Let's go and click on it. this one. So in this case, it's going to say how much or ask you how much you want to actually post your document or sell this document here. So in this case, it's going to be the default price is going to be $10. So the earnings per download, or in this case, going to be 6.05. So I do need to warn you, there are going to be some prices uh, that you need to uh, uh, ensure here. So in this case, uh, I think this is around the uh, 40 to 35 to 40 percent of the earth price or the selling price that you have right now will be going to the platform itself. But in this case, uh, the rest is going to you. So by the way, uh, you can go ahead and select whatever here, like the uh, subject here, the category, written academic here, written language, and the course code here. But this is just optional. And from here on the last page, but for that, let's go and fill out those details. So as you fill out those details, let's go and click on save and continue. But make sure to actually add your, like for example, your specific uh, document here. So details, make sure to that it's actually uploaded. So we have your document will be ready, will be active shortly. So depending on the traffic, this will take around approximately three to five minutes here. So in this case, you now have the option to share online, like for example, sharing this on Facebook, Twitter, and you can also create bundles here. So in this case, uh, some bundles or basically bundles specific items on specific uh, um, bundles so that they'll, they'll be able to save on those bundles. So if you want to create those, you can go and create them. So in this case, you go ahead and click on your profile at the top right here, view your dashboard, your wallet, your messages, and whatnot. So in this case, go and click on dashboard here to view our account. So currently we have our uploads here. So if you want to manage them, go and click on uploads and you can go and start editing them if you want to go and click on edit here. So in this case, you go and do your changes, download the file itself and whatnot. So yeah, so in this case, uh, that's how you upload your file here. But then again, like what I said before, there are going to be some things that you need to do here. Like for example, uh, setting your prices here. So in this case, make sure to decide how much you charge for each document. Prices can vary widely depending on the contents length and again, the topic itself uh, and the depth and quality. Common prices ranges from a few dollars to 40. So like what we saw before, it's around 10 to $40. So pricing strategy also consider starting with a lower price at, to attract initial buyers and then increase the prices as you build the reputation and gather positive reviews. You can also experiment with different pricing strategies to see what works best. Also, like what we saw before, make sure to promote your documents like in Facebook, X, or in other platforms. Or in this case, if you have like great following, make sure to share that to your followers as well. Also, your reputation here is something really important because your reputation would actually determine if people would actually uh, uh, basically get or download your documents. So make sure to pr uh, process or give out high quality content. So they'll be uh, repeatedly going back to you for those specific documents. Also, regarding their earnings here, uh, you can actually cash out via PayPal here. So you need to have a PayPal account for you to process your payments. So make sure you have a verified PayPal account to set up and receive your earnings. Also, pay, uh, payments are typically processed within one or two business days after a sale. Now, commission fees here. So DocMare takes a commission from each sale, which varies based on the number of sales you've made. So a commission for uh, 35 commissions for up to 999 sales, 25% for 1,000 to 9,999 sales. Now, 15% commission for 10,000 plus sales and uh, plus a fixed rate of 0 0.25 cents per sale. So the earning potential series, the more successful your documents are, the lower the commissions rate you'll pay. So this means higher earnings as you sell more. So in this case, uh, what are the things or tips that you could uh, basically do here? So first is you need to focus on quality. So ensure your documents are well written, accurate and relevant. High quality content will attract more buyers and lead to better reviews. Uh, also, make sure to proofread here. Double check for any errors on omission. Quality control is crucial for maintaining a good reputation on the platform. So, yeah. So, in this case, that's how you start earning money on Doc Merit here. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.